Hello there guys and gals, the Welsh Hunter here back with yet another achievement and trophy guide and this time we are getting it all in stories untold. Uh, it's kind of like an interactive horror adventure game ish, <laughs> developed by NoCode, published by Devolver Digital, and it's usually available for £8.39, but is on sale for the next few days for just £2.9 slash $2 American wise, dollars forty nine. So I'd grab that nah. If you haven't played it yet, of course. Now this is a fascinating game as it combines a few genres into four short chapters. You've got your classic text adventure, point and click style and walk and sim style. And they're all conjured up as we sift through a gripping story as one man learns about and comes to terms with, well, the pretty dreadful thing that did happen to him. So achievements wise it's not too difficult at all, so basically we have to go down certain routes in the text adventure to grab a few missables. In the point and click style you have to interact with certain objects but it's all easy and if you somehow end up missing something each chapter takes roughly about 20 minutes or so, 20 minutes or even less than that so taint all bad. Either way you're going to be looking at around one and a half to two hours to get this done and one more thing there is a cutscene before each chapter starts that lasts about 40 seconds but I've got rid of them and edited them out just so you're aware. So, with that being said then, let us begin, and we can start with the House Abandoned, Episode 1, and that is the one where we're going to start with the, uh, you know, clickety-click-clack, text adventure, yeah, you got it, you got it, girl. So basically, um, like I said, each chapter is only going to take around sort of 10, 15, 20 minutes, but I will tell you exactly... Uh, which ones, what to do, and how to um, start it up. So basically, in the text adventure, you have to press the left bumper, or the left, or the L1 option on PlayStation, to bring up, um, kind of, like, like, select options. So you'll have go, run, um, sit, take a shit, take a dump, up your mum, whatever, you know, all, all those kind of, um, so you got a verb, and then you got a noun, so it'll all become clear anyway. And the results will be shown on this screen. So right now, we can press the left bumper. And the first thing we're going to do is go to open. So you should have a couple there, a couple of uh, signs there. So go to open and then go to glove box. There we go. And then we'll automatically turn that in and then the story will continue. So you do have to press left bumper with every new command. So just be aware of that. Now choose read and then note. Wow, this note is sticky. What happened here? So yeah, just keep, um, if you want to, just keep um, spamming the, the left bumper. If, uh, you know, if you want to, just in case, uh, like now. Because some <laughs> sometimes it does take a while for you to, re well, it took a while for me to realise that the story had finished and we could crack on. And I was just waiting there like a dope. Even though it does say wait, but still. Next, choose open. And then car door. And if you think this is it for the entire game, well, you are wrong. I would genuinely, genuinely watch the story and see how it unfolds as well, because it goes, it goes nuts. <laughs> Next, choose use, and then key. And for all the druggies in here, no, not not for that particular reason. Uh, <laughs> no, 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 no. Next, choose go. Yard. So when it comes up again, make sure to be pressing the left bumper. We're going to choose look around. And then use generator. Really getting into the nitty gritty style of life now, apparently. Right, next up then, choose go house. And then choose go, house, again. Now what we're going to do is use, switch. Just why not play a bit of a Nintendo Switch while uh, all weird things are happening? Well, that's what I'd be doing anyway. It's that good, the Nintendo Switch. Apart from when Nintendo want to sue you for everything, but uh, yeah, still. Now, go upstairs. 
Again, but wait up for the Nintendo Ghost. They'll sue your ass. Next, we're going to choose to go. Sister's room. But ignore um, all the cameras and all the uh, fluffy chains and everything that's set up. That is... That's just for, for a movie in a park she's playing, which has absolutely nothing to do with OnlyFans whatsoever. Think about that for a second. Your sister doing OnlyFans. <laughs> sorry. Uh, anyway, next, choose look around. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm a douchebag. Next, we're going to choose to open wardrobe. And then, wow, look at the size of that thing that just fell out of it. Ah, oh, God Damn it, sister. Ew. Next, we're going to choose to look at photographs. So, look, photographs. And this is actually what's going to get us the first achievement. Photos of another time. Before OnlyFans, before everything. <laughs> Sorry, I'm going to stop mentioning that your sister does OnlyFans now. Now, choose go and landing. <laughs> <laughs> and then, when this <laughs> next bit comes up... We're going to forget about all of uh, our sister's wheelings and dealings. We're going to go, go, we're going to go, go to my room. Where everything is simple. Um, back in the days, there would have just been an old stack of porn magazines probably underneath your bed. With a crusty sock as well. Um, next, open. <laughs> Gift. Oh, would you look at that? It's another porn mag. Awesome. Oh, that's so cute. Anyway, um, right, anyway, now we got that bit out of the way. Again, keep remember to keep pressing the left bumper to open up the interface. I mean, you probably got that bit by now, but that's fine. Next, we are going to use... So, use computer. Ah, next up, we are going to play... Game. Which, to be honest, if there's a weird, stalky-ass man after you, that is exactly what we're going to want to do. And, well, shit start, it starts hitting the fan now. Awesome. It's a scurry time to be alive. Right, so what we're going to do now is open glove box. Th these condoms aren't mine, I swear. Next, we're going to choose to read. Note. Don't worry, this is a, sh this is a shorter one. It's not going to be as long as the last time. Get out, get out, get out, get out, get out, get out, get out the car, get out the car, get out the car. Y screw you, buddy, it's nice in here. And this is my car. Screw off. Anyway, when we can get to it, what we're going to choose is to open the car door. And one for all the coke heads in the room. We're going to use the key. For the front door, because of course Coca-Cola fans doesn't matter if you're Pepsi or Coca-Cola. Everyone wants to get inside the house, don't they? <laughs> Obviously. Next, go yard. What did you think I was on about? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Next up, we are going to look around. Going around town. Now we're going to use generator. And again, we're going to go house, roundhouse. And again, we're going to go 
house. Roadhouse. Roadhouse. Ro 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 roadhouse. So, since it's starting to get spooky as hell now, we wonder what's happening. We're going to look around. Next up, make sure to use, use, switch. Again, we're going to go all Nintendo style. Again, don't sue me though for mentioning Nintendo's name, Nintendo. So, this gets annoying, so what we need to do, we need to stop alarm clock. <laughs> stop note from the alarm clock from happening, of course, of course. Right, now what we can do is we can go, eventually, when it pops up here. La 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 la. We can go kitchen. Go to the kitchen. And this is for another achievement. Look. Writing. And this should get us the 1986. In 19... 19... 1986. So it's almost a bonus for soup song. Uh, but that'll get us the achievement 1986. Now we can go to the hallway. So go hallway. And now we will be able to go upstairs. Right, since we've just seen the kid you bullied doing your mother, uh, now we can answer. Because the phone will start answering. So you might have to uh, interact with the thing twice there, so answer phone. Sometimes it goes off, so you just have to open the interface again. Uh, so answer the phone, and then after we do that, spooky, scary crap starting to happen. In. And then what we can do is hang up phone. Stop taunting me while you're doing my mom. So, with all the weird crap that's happening, we're going to go to my room. Next up, make sure to use lock. Next, we have to actually input a code, and this one is 1986. So, one... Nine, eight, six. 1986. And then what we could do is open the door. And again, since we've just seen something disgusting, let's go to my room again. I don't want to see my mother naked with my childhood bully. Uh, I don't want to see any of that at all. Um, but of course I hope that doesn't happen. And if you do bully someone, you're a douchebag. Don't bully. Bullying is for assholes. Right, now go to look. Note. Next, choose literally any option, because they're all the same. End it! End it! In a kind of terrible Arnie voice, but end it now! Say no. Eh, no, 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 no. It was not me. It was my food. I did not mean to be rude. Now choose, why me? Okay, Mario Balotelli, calm down. 
and finally choose it was all my fault. Which, as we will come to learn, as it turns out was. Um, but, but we don't know what it is just yet. But the words finally will spell out. That'll get us the achievement there for completing the first episode. So we can just move on straight with the second episode called The Lab Conduct. So, and you're also going to get these uh, little uh, credit scenes, which again, take about 20 to 30 seconds. So I've left these ones in, but for some reason took the original, the, the first ones, before the episode starts out. I don't know why I've done it, just to mess with you, I suppose. So, for this second one, we do get a bit more movement. This definitely plays more as a point-and-click style type thing. Um, so, we have to basically interact with and switch on and switch off all these different uh, machines and everything. Uh, very easy, but can be potentially slightly confusing. But, of course, I'm going to tell you exactly what to do anyway. So, all we have to really worry about then is... Pressing the Y button or triangle on PlayStation to go on to the experiment mode. Um, you can zoom in with the left trigger slash L2 if you need it as well. If you're looking for a specific machine that you can't find. Um, but obviously I'll, I'm trying to go... I'm trying to pace it as well as I can. That, you know, you don't end up having to pause every two seconds or anything. So, a whole bunch of blah, blah, blahs going on. And then eventually we'll be able to press the Y button to start the experiment. I think we're going to be doing five. And then we're going to explode. Until your calibration matches ours. When you're ready, let's bring this back. So this time around you don't have to worry about pressing the left bumper, that just takes us here and we don't actually need that. So press Y2, move to experiment and then what we're going to do first is click the camera, which is in the top middle, the very top. So go all the way up to the top of the left stick, just click it anywhere and the red light will blink on. Next there's a rectangular box on the left with the words CC86 on it. You need to click this one right here, so click this button and that will get the blinking red light going. Now, to the turn on the TV, which is the top right, there we go, so make sure to press the pl uh, power button, the red square in the bottom left of the TV, so we get a heart monitor coming up. Now, on the TV, you need to click the slider bar twice, so to the right of that, until the right-hand side th um, code says XR, and then on the bottom left is a sync master, the flashing green button. So press the big green button there, that is the sync master, and... That will be it for the first experiment. So that's what we'll be doing. Uh, pressing different things, changing different frequencies, and then pressing the sync master to basically finish the experiments. And there we go again. Flatlined. Okay, let's begin. So when you're ready, let us press the Y button to move to the experiment again. Now, first thing we're doing is clicking the TV slider bar twice, but basically all the way back to the left, of course the TV, the top right one, until the display says R3. Now turn on the LZR11, which is the bottom right. Just turn that one on, and then input the code 650. Ew, this is awfully complicated stuff. I'd probably kill myself by now, to be honest. Now we can click the sync master again. Remember on the left, the big green flashing button. And, well, she's going to start getting real tense right now. From first stage, let's try a high frequency. Press Y then to get back into the experiment. Again, this one is uh, another quick one. Go back to the LZR11, the bottom right machine. And next, input the code 510. So we are going to start... <laughs> I mean, our heart's going to start losing its schnoz in a sec. So click the Sync Master button there, and we're just going to go back, and you'll have to press Y to go back into the experiment again. Okay, we have a reaction of some sort here, a weak signal. Let's keep going. Increase again. 
And again then, press the Y button to move back to the experiment. This is the f uh, last one. Um, back to the LZR11. Ch uh, input the code 455 and then click the Sync Master again. And what that's going to get us is the Heart Starter Achievement. Because, uh, <laughs> god damn. Well, I don't know what's going on, but um, I like it. Probably wouldn't pay money for it, but I still like it. I mean, I suppose if you're American, Jesus, something happens to your genitals, that's $2,000. You know, you've got a bad head. You want some paracetamol? That's a, that's $100, please. Yeah, yeah, America is uh, not good at keeping its citizens safe. Or, you know, wanting to heal it freely. Right, back into the experiment. Directly under the TV, there is a digital signal generator. This one we're on now. Turn that one on and then click the digital si signal generator slider bar once until it's down the middle. The middle symbol selected, that one right there, the kind of like uh, half eatenness or the slippery snake. Right, with the generator knob right next to it, c uh, hold the A button and move the D stick up until it reads 250. So again, just pressing the A or the cross button on PlayStation, hold that and then go up until it reads 250 there. To the right of the digital signal generator is a baseline lamp, so we need to turn that one on, where we are now. Now we need to click the amp knob, hold the A button and move it until it reads 1, like now. So just to let you know, again, hold the A and X, uh, cross button until it reads 1, job done. Turn off the LZR11, we don't need that anymore, and then we can click the sync master. Not much of a response. Uh, updating the experiment now. And we're going back. So, why button to go back? On the digital signal generator, click A on the amp bit and move it all the way up to 500 hertz. Hertz donut. All the way up to 500. There we go. Poifek. And then on the amp knob again, right next to it, uh, click it, hold A, and put it up to 5. So we're in the middle of the road. And then click the sync master again. To be honest, this whole getup kind of looks like a 1980s uh, DJ set style, doesn't it? Or if Enter Shikari were playing, of course. Love Enter Shikari. Should we increase to the risk of damage? What about uh, Volume 2? Okay, we're going to push further. I'm running out of time. Let's switch around. Press the Y button then to get your buns back on that experiment, huns. Uh, we're almost done with this one. So, with the digital signal generator, you need to click the slider bar so the top symbol is selected this time. So, the very top one, as in right there. Now, click the Sync Master again. And then when we go back to it, you'll have to go back to the experiment again by pressing the Y button. Man, that heart is looking very Homer simpson right now in that bypass, triple bypass episode. God damn. This might seem uncomfortable or dangerous, but you need to trust us and keep going. So, when we go back... With the digital signal generator, move the knob and move it all the way up to 1,000. And if, if you think that it hurts, it probably does, to be honest. Because that is one giant heart, which is about to pop. Let's be honest. You can see what's coming from a mile off. But uh, put the <laughs> signal generator up to 1,000 anyway. There it is. And then click the sync master <laughs> and enjoy. Activity registering. We did it. Can you hear us? You've made excellent progress. You're doing great. Now we need you to stay calm and try to relax as we go through these next steps. We're going to attempt to alleviate some of this discomfort. Alleviate some discomfort? Mate, you just turned my heart into a bloody big potato man. 
You just popped it like it was a grape, like it was nothing, alleviating some discomfort. Anyway, on to experiment four. Turn on the drill, which is the red, big red drill looking thing on top of the CC86. So turn that one on. Turn off the digital signal generator and the amp. Because for one, the noise is annoying, and two, you just split my heart in two, and it wasn't even a female who done it. Ah. Click the sync master and get ready for the, um, well, well, I don't really know. How do you feel? Don't be scared. We have the situation under control. Take a few moments, and when you're ready, we'll continue. And again, what we need to do then is, um, go back to the experiment, of course. And now we're going to click the left handle to open up the box. And holy hell, man, what's going on? Is this my heart now? Because that is cool as. I feel like Iron's man's when he was alive. Anyway, click on the orb. As soon as you see your um, little uh, pointy clicker man come back, we're, we will be able to click on the orb. It's time to remember. Now, you have a connection to the entity's inner core. And after that short little cutscene then, we're going to have our little pointer back. And uh, just keep pressing the A button on the orb again. Uh, basically, just until this guy, Dr. Frankenweenie, stops talking. So just keep spamming the A button here on the orb and eventually it'll start going nuts again. Which, I don't know if that's a good or bad thing. So there it is. You know when you've done it correctly is when it starts coming towards you and this... ...scary, shit-ass, jumpy thing happens. <laughs> and we're back at pure legendary ass. Um... <laughs> ...the text adventure stuff. So again, remember it's the left bumper to open up the interface. And when we do that, we can look, look around. And then we are going to use the computer, which I assume is not for personal use. And boy, you ain't looking upon up today. No, 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 no. Right, again, remember, you've got to keep pressing the left bumper every time to open up the interface. This time, go airlock. This organ. And now we're able to click the orb. So when we can click the orb, like now, we're going to click the orb like now. Keep spamming the A button on it until he starts going nuts and comes close to you and it starts going... That was my attempt at this noise, by the way. Yeah, it didn't go that well. Okay, this time then, we are going to look... This is incredible. How are we getting all of this? ...around. Found a ship. Mr. Asian, please continue. Next up, we're going to look. Again, keep making sure to press the left bumper to get the interface up and wreckage. So look, wreckage. Next up, we're going to use this wreckage to our advantage somehow. Use wreckage. Next up, we are going to look around and for the next one we are going to go ah go figure figure 
And then after this one, we're going to be able to click on the orb again. So when our pointy clicky man appears, keep spamming the A button on the orb until the whole noise and closeness and scary stuff happens again. Right, last time and last round that we're doing this then. So first of all, we're going to look around again. Then we are going to look writing. It expired at the crash. Whose memories are these? And to get a miserable achievement here, what we need to do is Next up, we need to read. I was elected to lead, not to read. Writing. So read writing. And that will get us the chart achievement and trophy. So, well, congratulations there. That's ni that's you, 95 G's richer. Use wires next. So use wires. What just happened? What just happened? I'm badass, bro. That's what happened. <laughs> Right, what we need to do next is go door. Because that's what badass what's what badass men do. So go door. And next we are going to be able to click on the orb again. So as you can see with the transfer progress in the back, we can now click on the orb, so spam the aid button until closeness, death, blah blah blah, all that schnoz happens to you. Please. And for the final one then, what we're going to do is really nail the hammer into the coffin. Use device. Oh my god, I feel like Professor Farnsworth from Futurama. Come on, John DiMaggio, come back. Right, on the computer screen, you will be able to see uh, the glyphs, glyphs in the right column. Now, we just need to press the D-pad to turn these into the... Uh, correct one. So the top one is already correct, so you don't have to worry about that. So press down on the D-pad then to go to the second glyph, and then uh, press right once. So the top one's correct. Just when we go down to the second glyph in the background, uh, press right once. Go down and then press right twice. And then go down and press right three times. So the top one's fine, the second one you press right once, the third one you press right twice, the fourth one you press right three times. Click the orb, and then this is what gets us the uh, second episode done, and the revolt achievement. So, it's going down like Gravy Town Brown Town. Gravy Town Brown Town? <laughs> right, okay. Just make sure to click the orb to <laughs> finish the episode. Don't do this. We, we we mean you. We mean them. No harm. Please, don't do something you'll regret. Wait. One day, station, this will haunt you. So let us play the third episode now, shall we? Now these two are a little bit longer than the first two, but it, it doesn't feel like it, sort of. And, I'll, and I'll, I'll tell you what I mean by sort of. So we'll just get into it straight away. Again, remember, a cutscene's gonna happen here. 
for about 30 to 40 seconds. But of course, we're just going to go straight in with it. This, this seems to be a lot more talking, a lot more dialogue, a lot more cutscenes in these next two, which again is unskippable, so you just sort of enjoy the kind of scenery, I suppose. Huh, what's those ropes for, huh? Kinky times with yourself? Yeah, yeah. No. One, three, log in. Quit fucking around. So then, immediately we can um, basically enter the first passcode. So again, to access the computer, left bumper or L1, and type in the code 0303. There it is. 1968. So 0303, 1968, and press the enter button. Now, you can uh, press the Y button to move to the micro fiche. The cardboard fish, one pound fish, but we don't actually need to because, of course, I've got all the answers for you. So that's all good, right? Whole but this this is basically a cutscene, a lot of yap yap yapping until we are able to enter another passcode. So just enjoy. Okay. We can chat later, three. Yeah, this is pretty serious. I've had a distress call from Central. There's a situation, and we have to fire up signal monitoring and relay systems right away. What kind of situation? I don't know. I'm assuming it's got something to do with this storm. Whatever it is, it's big to want to involve us. Shit. Okay, what do we do then? Well, my fucking cabin power isn't holding up in this weather, so I can't process the signals myself. Two, you need to feed the frequency information through to the backup terminal in station three. And three, you just need to tune, decode and process. Just refer to the handbook on the microfilm. It'll walk you through it. I've never done any of this stuff, so I'm not going to be much help, I'm afraid. It's simple, honestly. You could do this in your sleep. Okay. First one is due to appear in a minute or so. Have a quick read of that microfilm handbook. It should be on your left. I'm going to get suited up and restart the generator. Don't fuck it up. Right, so I think we actually have to press the Y button to go to the microfiche. Uh, if you scroll to the left, you can see the handbook and everything. I'm not sure if this is actually needed to progress the story or if it's just a time thing, but I do it just in case anyway. Um, so we can finally start going in. Right, with this code, you need to enter 130141. Four, nine, three. So one three zero one four one four nine three, and then press enter. Right. So what we have to do then? You have to follow and copy my commands exactly as I do it on here. So press the left bumper to go into it. Now choose run. So we'll all just come out as you can see. Ref run out etc. So choose run dot, which is by the zero. So run dot exe which is just uh, in between the space and clear button there, press enter. So that's the first one. So for line two, choose all, which is on the left-hand side there, just next to line one, two, and three. So choose all. Eventually, I don't know what the hell I'm doing. Choose all, damn it. Okay, right, we got there in the end. Space. So all space. The spaces are very important as well. All two, zero, two. So, basically, with, with the shift button at the top there, if you click the shift button, you can then go on to the smaller grey words, where it says, uh, begin, sys, point, etc. But we'll come up to that in a sec. So, all, space, 202, and then press enter. Now, for line 3, we need to choose out. The top right there. Space. Minus. Again, this is very important. So right next to the zero, to the left of the zero, minus, and then false. So you got run.exe, and then what we need to do is actually press the execute button. So after you've got all three of these, run.exe, all space 202, and then out space minus false, choose the execute button. So if a cutscene, if this cutscene doesn't happen, you basically um, you messed up something somewhere. Um, so just make sure you've copied exactly the same ones that I do. Uh, so we have to do this a couple of times, enter a couple of passcodes, enter some specific words, and then jobs your nan's uncle, really. Okay, there it is. 
creepy sounding things, aren't they? So let us enter yet another passkey. So press left bumper to open up the interface and then put in 206. One, four, zero, one, two. So that's two oh six, one four oh, one two, and then press enter. Now we've got another three lines to do. So again, whip it open with your left bumper, and then choose ref. So this is um, the top left. So ref dot. And this is the first time we'll need to use the shift button. So click shift at the very top left hand side. So we've got access to these smaller gray words. Then choose in it. Which is, oh, we haven't. So when you choose shift, you'll know you're on it because you've got the two white um, bands either side. And in it is just under lock right there. So ref dot in it space. Again, very important, the space. And then minus one. So ref dot in it space minus one and then press enter. Now choose proc. So again, you'll have to keep pressing the shift button and out if you want to go into a specific word. So proc space begin. So you'll have to click shift and then begin. I hope you get what I mean. Yes, you do. You're fan, just fan. Then choose enter. And now choose act. So act on the right there. Uh, space. Proc, space, 612, so that's act, space, proc, space, 612, and then execute. Execute. Eggs are cute. God damn, I love eggs. Not in the way that my creepy voice just sounded, actually. Yeah, ignore that one. Um, one, what does GCS mean? GCS? What do you mean? Yeah, no, this next one has come through with an additional note. GCS3 equals E1, V1, M1. I've not seen it before. Check the microfilm. Might be something in there about it. Listen, let me know when you're done with that one. I haven't heard back from the transport team and I'm starting to worry. Sure thing. Okay, here it is. Whoa. Okay, darlings, time to open up yet another path code. So, left bumper. As per usual. Now type in 097730. So that's 097730. And then press enter. And we've got another one of these things to do. So left bumper again. Now choose rot. Rotterdam. Romeo. Uh, rot space. Point. Where it actually says point. So you'll have to go to shift, and then where it says the big out is the point underneath. So rot slash point at uh, space nine. Sorry. So rot space point space nine, and then enter. And then rot point again. So rot space, and then go to shift. Then go to point, which is just underneath out. And then space again, and zero. Oh, but it's space zero. So, if you do make a mistake, just press clear and you'll be fine, just fine. So, rot space point space zero. And then for this last one, choose lock space sys. So, you'll have to go to shift again, go to sys, which is at the top underneath run. And then space four. And then execute that bitch. Okay, one, we're done. Nothing has happened really, all good. What did you want? I'm about to head outside to look at this generator. My cabin is completely out. Listen, I just checked the roster and we were supposed to hear from the supply team three days ago. But I've had nothing. No responses either. Shit. The storm? I hope not. Three, can you monitor a range for me? They use an emergency signal somewhere between eight, eight and a half thousand range. FM. See if you can track it down for me. That's our supplies for the next six months. If they turn back, what do we do? We can reschedule. I'm more worried that they didn't turn back. Otherwise, we'll be having a drink by now. Okay, let's do a bit of fine tuning with the radio, huh? And it's not exactly like you can get Radio 1 or uh, Radio America or... You know, what, what radio stations are there? Good morning, Radio Kansas! Right, turn on the radio with the power button on the top right, and then click FM, and then move the dial until the readout says 8,250. Anywhere 
it, you know, anywhere around there is fine. It doesn't have to be dead on 8250. Um, but again, you're holding the A button and then going all the way up. So anywhere that's close to 8250 is fine. But as you can see, I didn't turn it to FM. I, I kept it on AM by mistake. So put it to 8250 and then click the FM button, which is the second one down. And then you should get this cutscene automatically starting. Stress signal from supply vessel 20F. Please respond. Is anyone there? We don't have enough supplies to last whatever this is out. We have some on board, but it's not enough. We try to turn back, but the storm or them have messed with our GPS and sent us straight into the ice. What on earth is he talking about? We're holed up here. We just got word from Central that New York has fallen. Everyone's gone there now. I thought us being so remote would give us time, maybe, but I can see them coming. Be ready. All of you. It's 20 F out. One, are you there? Are you hearing this? Lock your door, too. Three, do the same. What do you mean? Did you hear the report? I just got a call from Station B at the coast. Something is happening. I don't know what, but they said we had to lock up and stay in our cabins. Then it went dead. What are you talking about? Just do it. They're here. Ugh! And who wants to do some more passcode entering, huh? I know it's fun and I know you enjoy it. So, let's do it. Left bumper, then click one... Yes, lots, lots of this happening in this chapter. One, five, two, two, one, one, zero, four, seven. So that's one, five, two, two, one, one, zero, four, seven. Beautiful. And we've got another list to do. So left bumper and then choose out, dot, status. So you'll have to go into shift. And then where it says rot, that is where status is in grey just underneath it. So out.status and then enter. Then choose CMD, central mid, central midfielder, of course, for any football fans. Um, I messed that one up, forgot to go out of shift. So, of course, always be wary of that. So go out of shift and then choose center mid, CMD, space, minus, data. Or for some reason, people say data. When it's pronounced correctly, data. Just saying, I'm not I'm not here for an argument. Then press enter, and then choose proc. <laughs> I'm Joe, we're all different. We're all hot as well. We're all beautiful. So proc, space, timer. So you'll have to go into shift, and then choose timer. Space, minus, true. So proc, space, timer, space, minus, true. Or dash true, I just say minus because it's easier. Then we're going to press execute. And then... It's another cutscene. Wow! Oh, they couldn't think of anything else to do for this bit. One, I can see something above three's cabin. One of the power lines down. One, are you there? What the hell is that? I can't see you from here, one. What's going on? They're here. <laughs> hey, you know, this, because this does seem just like a perfect horror setting, doesn't it? Big creatures, aliens and stuff. Although what they do is actually fly through the window and tear our friggin' head off right now. But it's not that kind of game. We don't see anything like that. Nothing gory, not like that. Right, let us input yet another key. 189045. So 189045. Sounds like a catchy advert, doesn't it? 189045. Let's sacrifice and do some lines. Again, every cokehead just uh, perked up when I said let's do some lines then. Right, first one again is run.exe. <laughs> run.exe space 189. So that's the first line, run.exe space 189, then press enter. Next one is act space import 
So you'll have to go into Shift and then go down to where Proc is and then that is the import. Space 045. So act space import space 045 and enter. And then choose point. Which is again top right just where it says out. So point space 1 space minus space 9. So that's important that you get those ones right there. So point, space 1, spa space minus, space 9. And then press the execute button. And then what that's going to give us is the uh, correct response achievement. And that is for responding to all the messages correctly. So uh, hopefully you followed along. And hopefully the pacing was fine. And that you were able to just do it with no problems at all. And that the achievement unlocked there for you. Um, again, I'm not sure if doing one wrong um, voids the achievement not particularly sure um, but, but again like I said hopefully the pacing was good enough and you know that you wouldn't have made an error anyway so with this bit there's going to be a long old cutscene and then we're going to do some walking hooray we're going to do some actual walking in the game ah! that is well worth my two pounds and nine pence So, this is where we're going to get our absolutely asses battered, 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 I suppose if you like your ass battered, then uh, you're on the wrong video. This is not the hub where people like they're getting their asses battered. Uh, anyway, this is quite <laughs> an easy linear path. Sorry, I really don't know what I'm talking about. As is the huge, welcome to my channel if you don't know. This is what happens a lot, by the way. So, this is just a linear path. You can have a look around, but there's... Genuinely nothing of interest. Uh, go up these stairs on the left. The only interesting thing is that my wiener is like a press stud. Even even though I'm just playing the game, in this cold, it, it is genuinely like a press stud at the minute. It's, it, there's nothing there. I'm like a Barbie doll down there. Ken and Barbie doll, to be honest. Yeah, I'm not good with the cold. So, just, <laughs> just keep going. Uh, keep walking around for now. And Basically, all we're doing is... Uh, looking for these two generators, but they will be in front of us in a moment, so keep following the path of linearity. And here we are. Hello, Clyde. Come on in. Welcome. Welcome. So, right in front of us is the um, generator. Oh, it's not the generator. This is actually the control panel. So, you will see two wires sticking out of the bottom. Just at the bottom of the screen there. All we have to do is basically follow those two wires, turn on the generators, job done. So, the first one, go directly behind you. And underneath is big pile of snow. Uh, press the A button. You have to get quite close to the generator. But you'll hit, when you turn it on, you'll be able to hear the noise. And if you back away, you can see that the light is green a la green. So, follow the second one around. And all it is, is basically to the left and up a bit. So, uh, I don't know what this guy's getting scared of. Look, <laughs> the, the most you'll do is just freeze to death. And that's probably better than being ripped a new one by some alien creatures. So, here is the second generator again. Get quite close, press the A button. Make sure that it's on with the big green light. And now we can get back into the warmth. Basically, we're going to unlock an achievement called Stretch Those Legs. All two of them. Because, again, your third one, your third leg is probably up inside yourself. In this cold, anyway. So, go to the control panel. Again, you have to get very, very close to it. And then press the A button on all three of the knobs. So, uh, get your knobs, <laughs> get your knob skills ready. Turn all three of them on. And there's going to be, like, this weird sound that's going to start happening. You'll know if you do it right, because... That, I mean, generally, that's a goddamn creepy sound anyway. So, there we go. Stretch those legs. And now, unfortunately, it doesn't automatically put us back. We actually have to walk back to our cabin. So, there's only, again, there's only one way to go. You really cannot get lost. So, just keep following me. Go up some stairs, down some stairs. 
And, you know, crap your pants, the thought of that noise. Awesome. <laughs> James, please. He's coming back. Now I feel like they only put in this walking simulator bit really just to stretch the game out. They probably looked at it and went, ooh, we could probably get this done in two hours, in, a, in about an hour. Well, let's just um, stretch it out some more by making you walk in the freezing goddamn cold. But anyway, when we go inside, this is going to be the end of the third episode. So we've only got one left now, which is going to take around, around uh, 25 minutes or so. Job done. To be concluded, mate, we are just... So let's do this thing then, shall we? The final episode called The Last Session. Uh, basically, it's a combination and a combination of all the gameplay of the last three episodes. So you got a bit of text adventuring, you got a bit of walking, you got a bit of collecting, you gotta, gotta, gotta have a little tenderness. I mean, you don't have to if you don't want to, but I thought I'd just sing it for you anyway. So I leave this cutscene in because um, basically it starts the episode more or less immediately. So. I say more or less immediately, it's about 10 seconds in. So, again, a lot of talking, and a lot of walking, and a lot and lot of lot of lot of tenderness. You're quite fond of the show, aren't you? Quite fond of your mother! Okay, come on. Let's get you down to the observation room. Okay, I hope you're ready to stretch those legs, because we are not in press penis stud land anymore. So, what we're going to do then is take a little walk down. Um, can't remember if... No, this is all automatic, sorry. So, ignore me, this is just all automatic, apparently. Here eventually. Just in here. Okay, are we through in the next room? Just relax, and we'll get started in a moment. So the first thing we're going to be doing then is go we're going to click the record button, which is the leftmost button on this little tape recorder. Ah, spank very much, pal. Spank your hairy crutch. Right, press the record button, the leftmost button. And then again, a little bit of cutscene's gonna happen. And there's basically gonna be an orb that's gonna fly in front of us. And all we gotta do is interact with the orbness of lifeness. And in a room we have our patient, Mr. James Asian. As we know, James has recently recovered from a two-week coma following his accident. In our last three sessions, James's attempts to recollect events of the accident seen him merging his memory with his imagination. These episodes have always ended in panic, and we've had to terminate the session abruptly. Let's try and do this one better, James. So when you're ready, let's bring this back. 
I know how difficult this must be, but you can do this. James, it's time to remember. Your mind, it's like a conscious black box. Oh, click on the orb. Click on the death orb. I mean, it might as well be a death orb. So, we are back in episode 3, apparently. And we have to do another one of these. Thank God, though, it is not as long as episode 3 was. So, we have to put in yet another passcode. We have to do another one of those little three listers and piss around with the radio. We do want to listen to some Scott Mills on Radio 1, because he's just legendary. I don't care what you say. I love me some Scott Mills. What's Scott Mules? Do you remember? Getting all the achievements in December. Oh yeah. 5, 6, 10 FM. Right. Let us press the left bumper again and input the code 121. 986-2304. So that's 121-986-2304. Press enter. Job done. Right. Let us do another, the last one of the game's final lines. Sorry, cokeheads. Choose 20 and then F space. So 20F space. Minus, or the dash, or whatever you want to call it, space, and then choose fatal accident. And then we can enter, that's 20F, space, minus, space, fatal accident. Now choose, just choose, simply choose empty whiskey, and enter, then choose out of control, and executions. Find the signal, James. Listen to the voices. You have to face it, James. Finally. Right, one more piss around with the radio then. So we need to turn it on again with the right, the power button in the right bottom corner. Click FM and then turn the dial to 7,000. That's a lot of thousand. Kind of wish I had 7,000 pounds in my bank account, but there we go. So just turn the dial to 7,000 and eventually we're just going to have a little cutscene and end up back in the nut job hospital. It's not like it. At all. I've worked with Officer Hennings for six years and not once have we even talked about alcohol. Drunk driving. He was a father, a husband, he was fine. No way he caused this. It's him, this Haitian guy. He's got something to hide. A light flickers on. Well, thanks game, if I was blind then that would have really come in handy, except I could read it. So anyway, go through and open the door. We have now entered the hospital. We're gonna turn right and enter the observation room. So there it is. Um, the name's always above the door, so we can always check, which is what I do. Go to the back corner. And on the final cabinet is a cassette. We need to find four of these for an achievement. So you can pick it up. You can let the dialogue play. I do let it play out for about 10, 20 seconds before we move on. Um, I do uh, click the cassette recorder just in case uh, for any sort of story progression. But you should be fine. So just leave it play out. Again, if you just want to have a look at the story. If not, we're just going to make a we're going to make a break for it. Not a run, because apparently we can't run. So turn to the right, walk forward, and enter Ward 4 on the left. So someone else is here, which is scary, but in this dub oh, ugh, double open door, this is Ward 4. So uh, press the A button to go in. And then if you go to the back left corner of the room, next to this bed is a chair, and this chair has the second tape deck. So wrap it up, boy. And again, if you want to, you can let the audio play and uh, take a little look, but we're just going to move on rather swiftly. So go, we're going back out to the hallway and we're entering the office, which is directly across from us. As you can see there, the door directly in front of us should say office on the top, which it does. So press the A button to knob yourself in. Knob yourself in? Go, go through. Uh, pick up the key, which is next to the computer here. 
And then if you turn around ever so slightly, there is a third cassette tape, which is on the single small file cabinet. There it is. So make sure to pick up the third out of four tapes. And again, let the audio play if you want, or we can just move on. Uh, but when we do that, we're going to go back to the hallway. We're going to turn right. As soon as we get out of... Yeah. So turn right. And then we're going to stop at the pre-surgery door on the right. Now, before moving in here, there's pre-surgery. Before going in, um, interact with and click the hand sanitizer box right here. So just click this once. And we give ourselves... I mean, this is all covid up now. This is just proper, like, hand sanitize your whole eyeballs, if you want. Uh, but basically, that gives us the cleansed achievement. When we get the cleansed achievement there, now we can enter pre-surgery. And the fourth and final cassette is on a table between the two beds on the right here. So pick that one up, and you'll get the fourth out of four tapes and the time to remember achievement. So that's all good. Now we're going back to the hallway. We're turning right. We're going to go through the exit and these double doors. And we're going to turn left. Now we're going to turn left. And, oh, it's the Jeebus light, which means I must be dead. Which isn't, <laughs> well, which isn't a bad thing. Nah, joking. But head for the light anyway. And this whole cutscene thing is going to happen again. But collapse on arrival to the emergency ward. The other passengers died in the accident. I'm getting no pulse. Prepare for defib. Amp charge full to 10 and give me 100 joules. Right, so now we're back to episode 2 then. So we need to do turn on the camera. Again, the top middle right there. Turn on the TV, which is to the right of us. And turn on uh, the digital signal generator just underneath the TV. We're going to turn that on. And we're going to set it to piss off. I'll do it in my own time, thanks. And then we'll set the amp up to 100. Or we'll set the hertz up to 100, sorry. Or the joules, or whatever. Um, turn on the amp to the right of that, and set it to 10. So just move the bar all the way up until it's juicing up at 10. Now click the sink bottom. The sink bottom! Banter! The sink master up the bottom left. Right, so, let's go again. On the digital signal generator, we're now going to pop it up to 200. You can keep the amp at 10, which it already is. So, digital signal generator... Pop this bad boy bitch right up to 200. And then click the sync master again. Of course, which is the big green button. Didn't your parents ever tell you not to touch a big green button? Well, mine didn't, so I like it. Right, back to the digital sync generator. Turn that son of a mofo up to 3 CD. Or 360. In normal terms. So turn it up all the way to 360, and then once again, click on the Sync and Master. So again, you'll know when it's ready, because the Sync Master will bleep like hell. Right, now what we need to do is interact with the TV. So click the TV bar twice, until it's all the way to the right, and the code, or the digits, read XR. So just underneath the TV, there it is, so that should now say XR. Go to the CC86, which is, of course, just to the left underneath the drill, and click the switch in the middle. Now, basically, it'll come on after a delay, so click it once, and then just wait for it to come on. There it is. Uh, for some reason, I turned it off. Uh, so, you just need to click it once, and after a delay, it will come on. There we go. And for some reason, that bit confused me. Uh, turn off the digital sync generator and the amp. We don't need that anymore. And we can just click the sync and master. Sounds like a proper entry carry song, this one. Boo, 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 boo. Right. Now what we can do is click the TV bar twice until it reads R3. So basically all the way back to the left. There it is. So the digit should now say R3. Click the drill in the top left. There it is. And then click the sync master. So now, all we've got to do left to finish the game, we're going back to episode one and doing some text adventuring, some hardcore stuff again. But this is where we really find out exactly what's happened and who exactly we are. And apparently we're a complete douchebag, so... Again, as you'll find out in just a momo.
So let's begin the abandoned house party. We're in a party, by the way, so this is as you'll be able to read. So, left bumper, of course, to get it out, and then choose to go to hallway. So let's go to the hallway to begin. Can't beat a good hallway, bashing. And then next, what we're going to do is go to the kitchen. Because that's where everyone is steaming drunk, and that's where exactly where we want to where we want to be, the life of the party. So go, kitchen. Now we can look eventually when we get there. Again, keep pressing the left bumper, as, as you'll know by now. So look around this time. And we are going to go to the utility room. The utility room. I'm the janitor and you're the janitor's wife. It can be a romantic thing, a utility room. Um, but probably not in this instance, I don't suppose. Right, when we get the option to, press the left bumper and choose yes. Yes, oh god, yes! When we've got the ability to, we're going to pour a drink out for our homies, so pour, drink, out for homies. And then, with the next one, we're going to choose yes. So, yes. And once again, we are going to go to the utility room. Now, if you've seen a couple of hundred pounds worth of whiskey bottle, that's what we're going to do. We're going to drink bottle. <laughs> you just would, wouldn't you? And next up then, we are going to go kitchen. So go kitchen. Next, we're going to go, go, go Power Rangers to the hallway. Go hallway. Go hallway, it's your birthday. Right, so for about six or seven times now, what we have to do is look at Jen. So we just need to continuously look at Jen. It's about six or seven times until we're not at the computer anymore. So just keep looking at Jen until the computer starts going... <laughs> farting. I meant to say kaput, but you know what I mean. Keep looking at Jen anyway. <laughs> hmm. I'm sorry, I don't understand. We tried our best, Mrs. Asian, but her injuries were too severe. No, I don't understand. I was just talking to her. I'm afraid Jennifer passed away before we could get to her in surgery. We did the best we could. I'm so sorry. Where is she? Let me see her. Please, Mrs. Asian, take a seat. I don't want to take a seat. Let me talk to her. Now. I'll arrange for you to see her. In the meantime, James is in recovery. He's stable for now. I don't want to see him. Oh, Jen, 
died. Fuming like me. And we're just about to find out how she died. So let's press the left bumper to open up and then go to living room. Go living room. It's not your birthday. Next, we are going to take take a look around. Look around. Next, we are going to look jackets. I thought it meant us looking like jacket potatoes, as we probably do, but no. Uh, go hallway. Go hallway again. And now we are going to go, once again, go, go, Power Rangers, go outside. So nip your ass on outside. It's a bit nippy. Nipples look like AK bullets, but we have a responsibility to drive our sister home. While drunk off incredibly powerful whiskey and the cold air hits us. You could probably see where this is starting to go now and why we're such douchebags. Right, next we're going to use the keys. So use the keys. And next, we're going to use the keys again. So use the keys and get your ass on that whiskey. See, it's not good for you, whiskey. Okay, and now we can turn keys. Next up, we are going to use brake. And here comes the danger stuff. So now we are going to drive the glove box. No, drive the car. <laughs> drive the glove box. So what we need to do now is talk Jen. And next, we have to drive left, which will just, that just destroys all the right wing guys. Anything to do with left, and they'd rather not, they'd rather drive right until they get to the destination. I have nothing to do with those lefty bastards. <laughs> anyway, what we have to do now then, after this bit, is use brake. Oh, I hate those lefties. I'd rather go right until I'm a right wing and I love it. So, sorry, sorry, Jen. Is what normal normal brothers normal brothers wouldn't get behind the wheel drunk. But there we go. Next, we have to use accelerator. This ain't going in well, as you could probably imagine. James, for fuck's sake, pull over! It was at this very moment, wasn't it, James? The moment you lost it all. Your sister. Your parents. Yourself. And then you made it worse. Okay, that sounded like it hurt. Right, a couple of things left. Uh, only four of these we have to do left now, and we have to use when we get there. Uh, hello, Mr. Orb. I am Iron Man. A real douchebaggery one. Anyway, left bumper, and then use the seat belt. And then we have to, once again, use car door.
Now we are going to, I mean, this is complete wankbaggery. Plant whiskey. Now, for the love of God, please do not get behind the wheel drunk. Just, just don't do it. There is literally no point. If you're stuck, sleep in someone's house or, I don't know, just don't, don't be a tosser. Don't be this guy, ever. Because of, <laughs> because of somebody. Now people have a warning. There's just no point. You're, you'll destroy and kill someone and destroy someone's family and destroy someone's life because you're a selfish tosser. Right. Now, press go figure. Sorry. So go figure. Go to the figure. And that is basically it for the text-based adventure. But please, if you're drunk, stay drunk in someone's house. Don't ruin your life and ruin someone else's life because you're a selfish knob. And that concludes our two-minute lesson on why you shouldn't get behind the wheel drunk. Um, <laughs> right, so basically after this cutscene, we're going to go back into the room and we've just got a few little couple of steps to do and that's the end of the game. I know what you did. You so, uh, ignore orb face right here. We don't need to do that. We're just going to turn back around and take a right here. And then another right. Yeah. Go back through the double doors. Basically, we're just going back to the observation room. Clicking the tape recorder, and that is being done. But, yeah, this is um, basically the end of the game now. It's, it's such a weird but interesting concept. I enjoyed it, to be honest. Uh, but here's the observation room. Go left here. Click the tape recorder, and that's going to be the end of episode four. We should now have... All four chapters done with all the missable achievements as well, and you should get the stories told achievement during the credits. Um, you do have to wait sort of a few seconds or something like that, about 10 to 20 seconds until Jen stops talking. I'm sorry I killed you, Jen. Please don't haunt me. I'm too scared. <laughs> I'm too much of a pansy to be haunted. Eh. So eventually, like I said, we need to click the tape recorder and that will be done. But... With that one, I'm just going to leave it here then, guys and gals. So now you should have 12 out of 12 achievements. So you should have your 1,000 Gs and your Platinum done. And there we go. Job done. So thank you so, so much for watching, guys and gals. I do hope you enjoyed the game. Let me know if you did enjoy it. Um, and I hope the guide helped as well. If it did, of course, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and share with a friend as well. Don't forget to check me out on my socials, Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and Patreon. And a big, huge shout-out to everyone who continues to support the channel on Patreon. Just you guys are legends. And thanks to everyone who interacts with me on the daily anyway as well. Thank you so much again for watching, guys and gals. I'll see you in the next one. Big love!